Today I'm going to be showing you all how to play Pokemon Go on the PC. Um, if you're having trouble like me with my Android phone, I was not able to download Pokemon Go and play it on there. I know a lot of people have been having trouble with it. so And it's also pretty cool if you guys want to play it on the PC. So if you guys want to be sure to drop a like on this video, I'm going to make this tutorial very easy and simple to understand. So yes, let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing you need to download here is BlueStacks. I have links for everything you're going to need to download in the description uh, for Windows 10 and... Uh, uh, Windows 7 and 8 here for the BlueStacks. I'm on Windows 10 right now, so once you're on the website, all you gotta do is click here where it says download BlueStacks. I already have it downloaded and everything. So once you guys have BlueStacks downloaded, this is what it looks like. Uh, this little window right here. And uh, next thing that you need to download, also in the description, is Lucky Patcher. Just click this download button right here. Um, and once Lucky Patcher has finished downloading, you guys might need to pause this video if I'm going too fast. So that's totally fine. Uh, next, after you have that downloaded, you're going to want to click over here on APK under the blue stacks. And you're going to go to wherever you downloaded Lucky Patcher. It's under my downloads. You're going to want to click Lucky Patcher and click open. And so once you do that, it's going to say installing APK. Uh, and yeah, it will open. And then once that's installed, you want to click on Android, and there is Lucky Patcher right there. You also see King Root, and there's Pokemon Go. Uh, so yeah, that comes to my next thing you guys got to download is King Root. Uh, right here, uh, you're going to just want to click Download for Android. You might think you need to download for Windows, but no, download for Android, because this is basically a phone app being on your PC. So, so once you've downloaded King Root, you're going to want to, once again, go back over here to the left, APK. Uh, go to your downloads wherever you downloaded King Root and click new King Root open and that is going to install also guys only install the APK files that's the only thing that BlueStacks runs uh, from my knowledge and I don't want you guys to get a virus <laughs> you know download anything goofy um, next thing you guys need to go to is uh, download fake GPS uh, which you're gonna wanna click this download button right here don't click this uh, that looks sketchy and let me show you guys how this works real quick because it was a little bit confusing for me at first. You're going to want to click right there, that button to download, then click create download. And once you have done that, you're going to want to click this link right here and it will start to download. Keep in mind that this right here is what your file name is going to look like, com.incorporatedapps. So once you have that downloaded after you've clicked that link, uh, you're going to want to go back to BlueStacks and click this folder right here to copy files from Windows and wherever you guys have that downloaded click it and then click open once again same process basically then after you've done that uh, you're gonna go to Lucky Patcher open up Lucky Patcher click rebuild and install SD card go to Windows and it should be under best shared folder after you have uh, after you've done all that so uh, you're gonna wanna click that and then you want to click install as a system app so install as a system app you really want to make this application a system app yes all right so now that you've done that you're going to want to go up here to the top and click this little cog gear go to restart android plugin and just go ahead and wait for uh, BlueStacks to restart all right guys so once BlueStacks has restarted you want to click on lucky patcher and then you're going to once again click on apk go back to that uh, fake gps link which mine is right here so I'll just go ahead and click it and click open on that and there it is it popped up right there so fake GPS you're gonna to wanna to click on that and then go to launch app okay you can just click off of that and then at this top right right here uh, go to the settings and this should already be checked for you go ahead and check expert mode because w without doing this the game's not going to be able to pick up a location for you and you won't be able to find any Pokemon or anything. Before we get to playing here guys, you want to click this cog gear one more time. Go to your settings. This will just help with your location. Click on location and put the mode to high accuracy. It should be on device only. Go ahead and switch that to high accuracy. Alright guys, so one more step before we're able to play Pokemon Go here and it's a pretty important step. I'm on Windows 10, so I'm not sure where you got to go for this on Windows 7 or 8, but you should be able to figure it out. Go to your settings and then you're going to want to go to privacy uh, location uh, turn location off 
if that's on turn it off and then uh, go ahead and click change and also turn that to off uh, I'm not sure how you do that on Windows 7 or 8 uh, but that is a pretty important step because if you don't do this then on the game it's gonna say can't find connection or can't connect to, to your location or something like that so once that is done uh, you're gonna wanna open up Lucky Patcher go to the fake GPS launch app and you can set it anywhere I just put it to a random spot in Dallas uh, let's just move it around a little bit and I'm gonna click play and once you've done that you see it says fake location engaged alright guys and now we are ready to open up Pokemon Go uh, just like that playing Pokemon Go on the PC uh, if you guys followed all these steps it should have worked for you fine I really hope it did Alright guys, so just like that, I am on Pokemon Go. It took me to the location. Oh, a slow bro. Can I click on this? I, I think this is a... Oh yeah, I'm not level 5 yet, so I can't do these. But yeah guys, this is it. Um, and if you want to move around on this, you pull down the GPS right here at the top left. You just pull it down with your mouse and then click the fake GPS. If you want to move forward, simply grab the pin, move it, and then click play. And it moves you to that location. So you can see what Pokemon are in the area. Looks like we got a Sparrow, a 